Hey Diablo fans, it's Neon Velocity, and I hope that you guys have been enjoying all the Diablo 2 Resurrected videos on the channel. We have talked about the new features that are coming to Diablo 2 Resurrected. We talked about features that I would like to see implemented into Diablo 2 Resurrected. And I also answered some questions as best as I possibly could based off the information at hand. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the five features that I am most in looking forward to in Diablo 2 Resurrected. Now, I don't expect this to be a long video. Um, there's not a lot of information out there, but I'm going to talk about why I'm excited for these quality of life changes, if you will, being implemented into Diablo 2 Resurrected. So the very first thing that I'm most excited about, and I think almost anyone should be, is it's just a given, is that the shared item stash is being increased it's now shared first and foremost because the stash is now having multiple slots it appears to be that way so what this means is that you don't have to have multiple characters called mule a mule b jewel mule uh item mule bar mule things of that nature you you don't have to have that anymore so you can literally go on your character and start putting your items that you want to stash away for another character that you make or items that you may need in the future and not have to store it on another character basically blizzard and vicarious visions knew that we all were doing this and it's really not a big issue right so they said why not just fix the issue for them and allow them the easy functionality of going in and out on that particular character so you're not having to let's say log into a game called transfer one with the password of one or go join a public lobby and then someone leave and then you potentially lose your items or runes for example so that would be a really bad uh, change the second change that I'm most looking forward to and honestly as someone who's played Diablo 3 more than Diablo 2 in the re recent years I know that if you're watching this you're most likely interested in Diablo 2 videos but uh, uh, auto looting and auto gold um, I believe that maybe w with controller support items might be looted automatically I can't confirm that just yet but at least auto gold is now automatic so it will work very similar to how it is in Diablo 3, where if you run over it, it will pick up your gold. And if you're in a party, as it should work, is you run over it and it shares it with your party members that are within a certain area of the map. So you're able to pick up gold. And while gold may not be the end-all be-all in Diablo 2 Res Resurrect or Diablo 2 as it currently is, it is nice to have a feature like that because you're not having to click on it and it becomes a distraction so you can easily just pick it up and get it into your um, inventory so so far those are the two most important things i would like to see the third is the completely remade cutscenes. now as someone who remembers watching cutscenes as a very young kid i was probably nine or ten when these games come out i was nine then 11 to be exact uh i'm excited to see the remade cutscenes. basically what's happening is vicarious visions and blizzard are remaking these cutscenes from ground one um, all 27 minutes of the cutscenes are being made from scratch with modern technology and cgi so it's going to be really cool to see what these cutscenes look like to life in 2021. the fourth big change that i'm really excited for as well is the fact that the game is going from battlenet 1.0 or classic battlenet to the current modern day battlenet 2.0 so this means our friends list dedicated servers and better so this is going to hopefully prevent the intrusion of bots and map hacking and things of that nature making their way into the battlenet or into battlenet uh, versions of the game the way that that used to happen is basically you could inject um i don't want to use technical terms too crazy because i'm not sure what the terms would be but basically download a dll file that would inject it into the Diablo 2 game and then kind of overpopulate it and then allow you the ability to more or less control the map, see what the map looked like or control the game uh, through uh, scripting and things of that nature. So hopefully some of that is going to be fixed. And obviously with Battle.net 2.0, you'll be able to report hackers, modders and things of that nature that you see. You'll be able to have that issue fix and also you'll be able to just click on a person's like name for example on your friends list and most likely just join their game instead of having to figure out oh what is the name of the game and then typing it in you can simply just click on their friend your friends list name and then join the game so i'm really excited about that and so the fifth and final thing that i'm really looking forward to is obviously cross progression but i'm looking forward to it in the sense that there might be the chance that we get cross play down the road. And I understand a lot of people say that it won't be fair. And I would say to you all 
is it's not about so much being fair it's about continuing to broaden the franchise's reach you want to make sure that diablo stays for a long time and one of those ways is to allow crossplay allow the user base on consoles to get the continuous updates as we will most likely see them on the pc and to allow those individuals to be able to play with pc players at all times and this is just good for the growth of the franchise overall however that was more cross play let's talk about cross progression as people get older they get a little bit lazier and a little bit more comfortable in life and maybe they're not able to be on a pc or have a top of the line pc so the fact that you could potentially play your or you will be able to play your game on your pc as it is today and then say you know what i'm on the road i'm out of town i'm on a meeting or on whatever i'm doing and you can pick it up save it and go get it on your nintendo switch or your xbox or your playstation that's really a good quality of life change because it allows you to keep playing the game even when you're not available at your home or on your laptop or your computer, for example. The downfall to that is though that you do have to buy two copies. One would have to be on the PC, the other would be on your console of choice. However, that is the benefit of playing a game that you enjoy. However, I understand that no one wants to double dip. So those are my top five favorite things coming to Diablo 2 Resurrected. Be sure to let me know in the comment section what you're most looking forward to that's already been announced and also what you are hoping will be announced in the future. If you're new here also, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification. It helps me more than you guys can think and your continued support over these last few Diablo 2 Resurrected videos have meant the world to me. So I would greatly appreciate it if you have it in you to do so and I will see you guys in the next video.